This is the tale of the letter named I, a lonely author who lived life with a sigh. Typing her treatise on the common green pea, I encountered a problem while pressing one key. The harder she pushed, the worst was still true. I declared to herself, I'm missing my you. A panic seized I, and she looked to the sky, confirming her fear that all was awry. I dashed through the city and away from the crowds, fleeing the streets and all that was loud. Climbing a cliff, overlooking the sea, I searched for a sign that would answer her plea. My writing is hindered, my home life is stark. Upon a journey for you, I must now embark. She hopped on a ship, and it sailed double quick. Clutching her side, I felt quite seasick. She arrived at a jungle, all filled with suspense. The lump in her throat said she'd moved well past tense. The bees, they were buzzing. The blue jays flew near. But I gathered her courage and slashed past her. Fear. She burst through to a vista all cloaked in blue. And eyes' eyes slowly widened as they took in the view. Umbrellas, ukuleles, and UFOs, too? All could be found in this haven of you. You're welcome to stay, but you won't see much here. When the birds flew away, so went the cheer. The fish are long gone. No key lime pie. There's plenty of sorrow, but not even one. I. She peered at his face, kind, handsome, and true. I am none but I. You, is that you? You looked at me then, like I will never forget. And I took your hand on that day that we met. So, that is the story, according to me, of how I found you, and they became we.